guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today's video is a trash to treasure which is a challenge hosted by Casey and she hosts these type of challenges every single month and this month's co-host is Jessica from Measure and Max. If you haven't seen Casey's or Jessica's channel you have to go check them out. They are great DIYers, tons of inspiration and lots of um, I inspiration and ideas and uh, I will have both of their channels linked down below so for my trash to treasure I was kind of running out of ideas well motivation as to what to make nothing was speaking to me and then I was looking for a different object in a different thing in a garage and when I came across this basket now a while back I had actually uh, thrifted one of these baskets in much better condition than this one and I have no idea where this one had come from but it was in my garage ready to go in a garbage I have a feeling my husband brought some firewood in it and um, I thought well the other one I just kept the way it was I didn't want it to paint it or anything I think it's a great um, thing for my front porch in fall but I wanted to uh, then I came up with an idea for this one to um, maybe paint it or something to go with my outdoor decor and use it uh, during maybe summer spring and summer so I searched Pinterest and all this stuff just to get some inspirations and I did come up with several so I kind of put them together to make one so instead of throwing this out I will be reusing it as a planter in my backyard it is a little bit damaged there's a hole here and things like that but I think I can make it work with a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of paint uh, because I don't want to put uh, dirt uh, or water directly into this basket because it's going to damage it um, even more than what it is already. I have this lid from an ice cream cake that we had on the weekend. It was my son's 18th birthday. So we had purchased him an ice cream cake and this is the lid. So I gave it a wash and I thought it would act as a great liner or a tray for a pot that I will put in here that I already uh, planted some stuff in it. And that way all the water, when I water it, it will go directly into this lid instead of inside the basket. The paint that I will be using is the Duck Egg Blue by Annie Sloan. And it is a little bit on a drier side, so I will be adding a little bit of water to it. Uh, so never throw out your chalk paint, just add water to it and it's like bringing it back to life. And I will also use the original Annie Sloan chalk paint for the, the top. So without further ado, I will get started. So first thing, I'm going to just give it a good wipe down just to get rid of any dust or cobwebs or anything that it might have on it, loose wood pieces. So that way my paint just sticks right onto it. And I also want to mention, like I said, well, like I said, it was a challenge. So there is an uh, playlist and it will be linked down below. So make sure you check out all the other ladies' trash to treasures that they will be creating. And um, I will also include in the description box all my previous months that I have participated and things that I have, have made. Okay, so now that it's nice and cleaned, I'm going to start painting it. And I chose blue because blue is pretty much the color of my some of my planters outside as well as uh, my some of my pillows and my uh, dishes and all that stuff. So I want to kind of tie it all in and I like this duck egg blue because it's not like doesn't scream blue in your face it's a very uh, almost like a farm I want to say farmhouse blue but not sure if uh, that's what it is but that's what it speaks to me
also want to mention if you're not following me on Instagram uh, I would love it if you join me there as well I post upcoming projects daily life stuff my workouts and all sorts of different stuff um, I currently I currently I recently got a new puppy and I post some fun funny videos of him as well and our life with him I also have a Facebook page and a blog as well if you want to check out those as well and I have them all linked in my description box Do you guys have summer plans? Did you have to cancel any travel? We did. We had Hawaii booked for August, which we have canceled because I do not know what the situation will be flying out of Canada. So, unfortunately, had to cancel that. Um, not sure if the camping will be available. You can book it, but again, not sure where the things are still closed um, here, just slowly starting to reopen. Excited Home Home Sense and Marshalls reopened today, today actually, so looking forward to checking out what they have and stuff. But there's huge lineups uh, from what I'm seeing on uh, Instagram huge lineup so I probably won't be going there for a little a little while until things calm down a little bit but are you guys doing any camping or cottaging or any anything like that let me know down down below so I can live through you <laughs> since uh, we will be staying home it's it's not a bad thing to stay at home Maybe we'll get some of those neglected projects done around the house that we've always wanted to do in summertime but didn't get to because of travel and work. But now since um, we're not doing traveling, oh, we'll have the holidays open for maybe to do these projects. So now I'm just going to add some white here on top but I'm not going to as you can see I'm not gonna cover it completely because I think it's gonna make it look nice and rustic if I just leave it a little bit uh, just very light coat on it here it is I'm just going to see which plant I'm gonna put in it and then I'll show you what it looks like with a plant in it so here it is I just added some herbs inside of it I think it looks so cute and goes well with my bright blue that I have here I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and make sure you check out Casey's and Jessica's channels as well as the playlist link down below so until next time have a wonderful day